Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a dynamic view with the help of send redirect method. As well as we will discuss about some basic uh, JSP tags. So already in our previous video, we have discussed how to make a redirection from sublet to a JSP by using response.send redirect. So I'm using the same code and same application. So it will be easy to understand. So in case if you haven't watched that previous video, so the link is available in the description. So please watch it so that you will be getting a uh, clear understanding about how to make a dynamic view with the help of send redirect. So now let us get into this video. So now if you see this particular code, I'm going to check whether the username is admin and password is 123 or not. If the username is admin and password is 123, then it is redirecting to success.jsp else it is redirecting to fail.jsp you can look at the success.jsp it's a jsp file even though it is displaying a static content saying that welcome admin so it's a jsp which can be a dynamic but even though our content is static so which means coming to this program or coming to this example always it will display only welcome at me so now we are going to see how to make it dynamic content so instead of welcome at me it has to display it has to display welcome the username which I have entered in my login page dot html username text box so in the username text box, I may enter admin. If I enter admin, it has to display welcome admin. If I enter username as Valan, it has to display welcome uh, Valan. So that we are going to see now. It's very simple. I am reusing the same code which we have discussed in the previous video. But slightly I am modifying. So this time, I am not going to check username. I am going to check only password so which means the username can be anything but only the condition is the password must be 123 then it will go to success page else it will go to failure page while redirecting to my success page I need to send this username so what I am doing, I am starting my query string by using question mark. After the URL success.jsp, I will come with the question mark. I mean it's a beginning of query string and I will say to the success.jsp, I am going to send username and the value is the username which is entered in my login page you can see already we have readed username from our login page with the help of request.get parameter and we have stored with the variable username so that username I am going to send to success.jsp with the help of query string So I am repeating once again, uh, friends. So in my login page, I will enter my username and password. And the moment I click my submit button, it is invoking login sublet do post method. In the do post method, I have written a code to read username password from my login page. And I am going to check only password right now. If the password is 123, then
then I am redirecting to success.jsp. I am checking only the password. So which means the username can be anything. If the password is 123, then I am redirecting to success.jsp. At the same time, to the success.jsp, I am sending the username which the user have entered in my login page. So this one will call this query string. Else, as usual, it will go to fail.jsp. Now, in the success.jsp, previously we have, a, we have a static data which is displayed only welcome admin. But now I am sending username to my success.jsp. So, which means in that success.jsp, I have to write some business logic or Java code to read this username by using this value. So this value can be any uh, any any name. For example, you can say you name. It can be any name. Yes, it's like a key value pair. So this is you can assume like this is my key and this is my value. So the value is username which is entered in my login page and the key is or attribute name is you name. So finally this attribute name or key name can be anything. It can be any name. So now in the success.jsp, I am going to write a code to read a value of you name. And then I will display welcome this username. So now let me open my success.jsp. Now in this JSP, I need to write some Java code. You can look at the JSP. So the JSP is HTML file. Inside this HTML file, I am going to write some Java code to make it dynamic. But at the same time, I have to tell to my browser this is HTML code and this is my Java code. So the browser has to ignore the Java code. Yes, the Java code will, uh, will get compiled and run on web server. Right. So for that, JSP is providing some basic tags. So the very first tab, tag is declaration tag. So this one I can call this a declaration tag. So by using this declaration tag, I can declare any variables. So for example, I am going to declare one variable, let it be username. So finally, don't forget uh, friends. So this is our JSP declaration tag. By using declaration tag, you can declare your variables. So now I have declared a variable username as a string type. So now I need to write some logic to read a value from the sublet. Yes, the sublet is setting the username with the attribute uname. So which means I need to write some logic to read this value. To write a business logic, JSP is providing scriptlet tag. So this is my declaration tag to declare a variable and this is my scriptlet tag. Inside scriptlet tag, I can write any business logic. I can write factorial factorial logic for example i can write factorial logic or i can write addition or i can write prime number any logic i can write so finally declaration tag to declare a variable scriptlet tag to write your logic so right now my logic is what i have to read username which is sent by my sublet and i need to store with this variable 
so how i am uh, reading the value same request dot get parameter of name of the attribute is u name same as our sublet you can look at our sublet so we have used request dot get parameter and name of the text box u name and password so which is reading a value from the login.html the same way to read this username in jsp also i will be using same request.get parameter and the attribute name or the key name new name so the correspondent value will get stored into this variable so finally now i have readed my username now I want to display this username like uh, previously. So by using out.println, I can write something, I can write any statement, so that will get display on your browser. So for example, I want to write some HTML tag and I want to display a message welcome the username which I got it from my sublet and it's better to close the uh, tags properly so friends we are clear finally you can right now you can uh, look at the code previously this JSP was displaying only welcome at me but now with the help of scriptlet tag I am reading a value from my sublet which is sending uh, data with the help of send redirect so that I am displaying so now let us run this code and we will verify our output Whether it is displaying dynamic data or not. Okay, I think some Tomcat port number issue. Let me quickly change my port number. Now let me run it once again from login page.html. Yeah, now it started. It is displaying my login page. So now I will, as per my code, I can view any username. I will say username is Valan, but password must be 123 to, re to get redirect to uh, success.jsp. So I am entering the correct password. So the moment I click my login button, it is going to sublet. From sublet, it will get redirect to success.jsp. And you can look at my URL. It is re redirecting to success.jsp at the same time it is pausing the username whatever I have entered in my previous page. So that I am uh, displaying in my success.jsp. So finally this is a way 
how to use send redirect to re redirect to the particular page as well as sending a dynamic data with the help of query string so hope we have hope friends we are clear about how to use send redirect along with the dynamic data also jsp has some basic tags it is a declaration tag to declare a variable and this is a scriptlet tag to write our business logic so now here you may get a question you may get a question in case of sublet we have created a request object you can look at my sublet it is coming with the argument request it is the object of http sublet request and same way we have created object of print writer as out but you can look at my jsp directly i am using request and out i am not creating these objects in jsp so directly i am using request out it is working fine so the reason is coming to jsp this request response out these all are predefined or implicit object in jsp so request out response and same way we have uh, six more uh, totally we have uh, nine uh, predefined or implicit objects in jsp so finally as per this code yes request and out these two are predefined or i can say it is an implicit object in jsp so we have one more jsp tag let me do one thing let me command this one so by using out.println yes i can display something on the browser in jsp the same way we have one more thing called expression tag so by using expression tag also you can display the value of any expression i'm just closing my tag as well finally in jsp we have three basic tag declaration tag to declare a variable scriptlet tag to write on our business logic and expression tag to display the value of any variable or expression let us run this code by using expression tag whether we are getting a output or not let us verify so this time i will give some other name let it be john and password 123 and i will click my login button you can see it is displaying john right now with the help of expression tag so finally coming to jsp to display the data we have two option either i can go for a predefined or implicit object out dot println otherwise i can display the value with the help of expression tag so friends we got some basic idea about jsp as well in our next video we'll discuss about what is request dispatcher and how to use request dispatcher in uh, sublet so thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload a new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends